Remarkable, first-class passenger dinner menu from the Titanic sold at auction. A first-class passenger's menu from the Titanic sold at auction. The remarkable artifact sold for $104.315 on Saturday at Devizes, Wiltshire's Henry Aldridge & Son. The menu has visible indications of water damage and includes steak, oysters, mallard duck, and spring lamb. It was served on the evening of April 11, 1912, following the ship's departure from Queenstown, Ireland. Three days later, on the evening of April 14, the Titanic struck an iceberg, and she sank the next day. The menu is 6.25 inches by 4.25 inches and has a red-white star-line flag that is embossed. It would have originally had gilt lettering with the initials OSNC, Ocean Steamship Navigation Company, alongside the lettering RMS Titanic. Auctioneer Andrew Aldridge said, the latter shows signs of water immersion having been partially erased. The reverse of the menu also clearly displays further evidence of this. This would point to the menu having been subjected to the icy North Atlantic waters on the morning of the 15th of April, either having left the ship with a survivor who was exposed to those cold sea waters or recovered on the person of one of those lost. Having spoken to the leading collectors of Titanic memorabilia globally and consulted with numerous museums with Titanic collections, we can find no other surviving examples of a first-class the 11th of April dinner menu. The menu is a remarkable survivor from the most famous ocean liner of all time. The late historian Len Stevenson's daughter and son-in-law discovered the menu in a 1960s picture book. He gathered and kept a large number of records and was an authority on his hometown, Dominion, in Nova Scotia. When the Titanic sank, more than 1,500 of the 2,208 passengers and crew members perished. The ship was sailing from Southampton to New York on its inaugural trip. Among the first-class passengers were socialite Molly Brown, multimillionaire John Jacob Astor, millionaire Benjamin Guggenheim, Sir Cosmo, and Lady Duff Gordon.